Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool effect using Adobe Photoshop's Gen Fill and Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to download some footage for this to work. So I've just gone to Vecteezy and I've downloaded some stock footage. I'm just gonna drag it to my timeline. Now this clip is not 4K, this clip is 1920 by 1080, but what we are going to do is we are going to take this to Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna make it into a 4K clip. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to get this uh, frame out of Adobe After Effects and brought into Adobe Photoshop. So we can do that a number of ways, but I'm just gonna show you this way. If I go to composition and then I go to save frame as, and then if I click on the file, now it will bring up my render settings down here. Make sure that you set your resolution to full and make sure that you set it to a path that you know where to find it. So once you've done that, it will then generate a PSD document and will open that document up in Adobe Photoshop. So just hit that render button. So here we are in Photoshop and what we need to do is we need to expand this background. So there are a few ways that we can do this, but I'm just gonna show you using the crop tool. Now I've just set my crop tool and I'll just set it to my 16 by nine aspect ratio. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold option and I'm just going to drag it out until it's 3840 by 2160. And once you've done that, then all you have to do is just hit generative expand. Now you can generate using options here, but I'm just gonna click the button generate. Cool, and as you can see, it's done a pretty good job straight away, but you can also cycle through the different variants that we have. And they all look pretty good to me. I think the first one looks the best, so I'm just going to run with that. Now, if you wanna add any other elements to this, what you can do is you can just grab the lasso tool, you can draw a section around what it is that you like, and then you can hit that generative fill button again to add in whatever you want into your composition. But I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna save that document and then take it back into After Effects. Cool, so here we are back in After Effects and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new composition and this time I'm gonna go for a 4K comp. So 3840 by 2160 and a duration of about 15 seconds. Just gonna press OK. I've still got my original working file in there which I'm going to need. But what I need to do is I need to import my Photoshop document. So I'm just gonna right click, go file import. And once you've selected your file, what you need to do is this. You need to make sure that the import kind is uh, composition and you have editable layer styles. Just press OK. Once you've done that, then what we need to do is we need to drag our layers from that Photoshop document that we had. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the background underneath it, just like that. And then what we need to do is we need to grab our original clip. So now once you've dragged it to your timeline over here, I'm just gonna press T on my keyboard to bring up the opacity or that layer. I'm just gonna turn it down a bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna match up those two clips together so they're directly on top of each other. Then I'm gonna bring the opacity back up. And so now if you play through that, like, I mean, it looks pretty good and I don't really have to do anything else. But just to be safe, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab the pen tool and I'm just gonna draw a quick mask just around that subject. Now, you gotta be careful because he does bring his arms up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that I have that all in the shot. And then, you know, just to make it a little bit smoother, I'm just gonna press F for feather. And I'm just gonna bring that feather up to maybe something like 20 or 30, something like that. And so now when you play it all together, now we've just extended that shot. So the original shot was only something uh, like that. And then we've added the background on there. And that looks pretty cool. So the only other thing that I did to this clip is to finish it all off is I added a adjustment layer. And in that adjustment layer, I added an effect called Lumetri Color. And I just pretty much went and I just changed the look of this. So I've been really liking this uh, SL Gold Rush look. And you know, there's two variants of it. Um, you have the HDR and you also have the LDR. 
Now, I mean, honestly, like that looks pretty cool just like that, but maybe the intensity is just a bit too much so we can drop that down a bit. And I also just added a bit of noise and grain on top of that as well. But I think that looks pretty cool and you know, what you can do with Adobe Photoshop um, is starting to become really mind boggling, you know, where you can just take a shot like that and you can expand it as well. So other cool things I was thinking about doing as well is just making the sky move, um, but I'll save that for another video. So anyways, there you go. Uh, that's how you use Adobe Photoshop's uh, Gen Fuel and Adobe After Effects together to create these set extension shots. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.